Hello everyone! Welcome from the cutting room floor. I just wanted to say to everyone that this new video is the start of the normal schedule. So if you missed last week, that's correct because we are doing a bi-weekly upload now. And um, I hope you like it. If you have any ideas what you want to learn about the Netherlands, uh, whether it is some about the culture or places that you are aware of or if you have questions you can always put them in the comment section and I will look at it I have a, a big list of things I will already want to do but you can always give me some extra inspiration I hope you like this video so see you next time enjoy I know this is a very green place, but I'm talking about orange. Not oranges, but orange carrots. Because, you know, it's a Dutch thing. Orange carrots came to be because they were farmers who wanted to be, like, loyal to the royal family. Because, as I have said before, uh, the Dutch people were a bit rebelling against the Spaniards back in the 16th century. And they were led by the prestigious William of Orange, Willem van Oranje. And this Dutch revolt led in 1648 to the fact that the Dutch people are now a free country. And because the Dutch farmers were so happy and loyal to the royal family, they decided to only breed orange carrots. And because, of course, Dutch people are famous tradesmen, it became popular all around the world and now we only have orange carrots the fact that it was actually tastier and easier to make into a dish really helped as well so yeah that's why they're orange carrots uh, yeah if it was true because it's a myth <laughs> It's not true. It's not because of some royal loyalty that the carrots are orange. In fact, orange carrots are way older than the family of orange at all. There are manuscripts from the Byzantine period where they described carrots, including the orange ones. And it is known that the Moors took the carrots from present-day Turkey to Spain. And from Spain, of course, it came to the Netherlands. So yeah to to have orange carrots because of like the rebellious nature is a bit weird in the 16th and 17th century carrots were a very important food source for the netherlands it was kind of the staple food um, before uh, potatoes were a thing and you can see them on a lot of paintings as mm -hmm. well as you can see here it is not known exactly when the orange carrot came into the netherlands or became spreading into the netherlands but it did very well in Dutch soil, better than all the other colors. So what the farm people did was crossing the orange carriage with the already known other carriage. And what you got was a lot of different type of orange carrots. Uh, one of the explanations why we only have orange carrots today is because uh, they were really sellable, they were tastier, less fibrous, they were uh, sweeter than the other carrots and where, especially with the purple ones orange carrots are a lot tastier looking um, they don't stain as much so yeah they were a really good selling point in the markets another explanation for this uh, is also that orange is a very vibrant color and especially in the marketplace of the 16th and 17th century it would have been very vibrant among the greens and the whites and the yellows and the darker colors another theory can be that it was just a fad that people liked the orange color and wanted to incorporate them in everything like nowadays the old colors are coming back so there are yellow carrots back again the purple ones and the white ones but whether it was a type of royal loyalty or a fad or whatever i still don't like carrots that much so i'm not gonna eat them i hope you do see you next time <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't say <save> me. <laughs> I'm still Every standing. time someone, someone <laughs> is helping me, they have to walk backwards. It's very, oh, very. I cannot easy. get you on camera. Okay. <laughs> Prince Willem van Oranje, Willem, William of Orange. Do it again. <laughs> um, in fact, orange carrots, carrots were really one of the staple foods in the Netherlands, and they were. Oof. <laughs> very healthy and good for your eyes. <laughs> That's also a myth. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> that was a Second World War uh, myth, by the way. That um, people were having the very first night fishing goggles. Yeah. And uh, because they didn't want to say that they had night fishing goggles, they just told children that it, it was because of carrots. That they were having better eyesight. Really? Yeah. That's not a Dutch fact, so <laughs> I cannot talk about that. So much stuff. And they are sweeter, they are tastier than all the other colors. So what the Dutch farmers did was... <laughs> it got a Can I, uh, do you know uh, carrot cake? <laughs> Ja, ik krijg het echt warm. Lekker. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I can't breathe. <laughs> it's not because of some virus. It's just because <laughs> this. Bye, plane. That in Dutch soil. Soil. Soil, soil, soil. My English is getting worse. <laughs> How is that possible? Not talking. <laughs> so three takes. Do you know uh, carrot cake? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna ask that every time? <laughs> yeah. Hij staat nu op 2025. Uh, dus yeah. <laughs> I love it when Tanya says, "Yeah, I think it's recording." <laughs> <laughs> After three takes. Okay. Yes. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Take four. <laughs>